It is revealed what will happen in the first episodes of the second season of The House of the Dragon. More than a week after the premiere of the first trailer of The House of the Dragon, the creator of this universe, George R. R. Martin, has revealed information about the first episodes of this second season. So if you want to know what he said, and what we could see in it, do not take off from this video. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The news about George Martin's statements can be found thanks to the fact that he published a post on his website. The part where George Martin talks about the House of the Dragon says the following, and I quote, I also spent two days locked in a room with Ryan Condal and his writing staff, Sarah Hess, T. Mickle, David Hancock, and Philippa Goslett, talking about the third and fourth seasons of House of the Dragon. The highlight of the trip, though, had to be the sneak preview that Ryan gave me of the first two episodes of House of the Dragon Season 2. Rough cuts, of course. Of course, I am hardly objective when talking about anything based on my own work, but I have to say, I thought both episodes were just great. And they are not even finished yet. Dark, mind you. Very dark. They may make you cry. I did not cry myself, but one of my friends did. Powerful, emotional, gut-wrenching, heart-rending. Just the sort of thing I like. What can I say? I was weaned on Shakespeare and loved the tragedies and history plays best of all. George Martin's words are quite exciting, and for those of us who have read his work, we know exactly what he is referring to. We are talking, of course, about blood and cheese. Something we saw in the trailer, as we saw how a man was holding Helena by the neck, and then a scene where she is looking up to the sky. What has happened is so cruel and tragic, it has brought a friend of Martin's to tears. But what exactly will happen? What do they mean by it being something dark? Now yes, let's get into spoilers and leaks of this second season. To understand this, we must transport ourselves back to the moment in the books when Lucerus lost his life to Vagar. Damon sent Mysaria to hire some men to take revenge on the Greens, and what happened during that revenge was something horrible. A few months ago we talked about a news story, where the writers talked about blood and cheese, and its impact on the story. The news was published by the Portal Variety, and it said the following. Blood and cheese. Two words that strike fear into the hearts of those who have read George Martin's Fire and Blood. The book paints an eerie mental picture of the dark revenge that is coming in the second season of The House of the Dragon. Lucerus's death is presented as an accident, with Amond in a state of shock, following the fatal outcome at the end of the first season of his fight against Lucerus and the dragons. But unintentional death or not, the House of the Dragon screenwriter Sarah Hess has confirmed that the HBO TV adaptation will include the blood and cheese revenge plot, which follows Lucerus' death in the book. A brutal exchange that Damon describes as an eye for an eye, son for a son. We are currently writing the season 2 finale, Hess told Variety. When asked last month if the House of the Dragon writer's room had already written the screen version of the infamous blood and cheese plot, I don't think it will disappoint them, Hess said. This is a direct confirmation that we will have on screen one of the cruelest scenes in the Game of Thrones universe. But what do these men do that is so cruel and makes people cry? For a time, Damon was the sergeant of the Kingsguard. During that period he spent his time drinking wine and going from brothel to brothel in King's Landing. Damon knew all the nooks and crannies, and many people respected him. This means that even though Aegon had become king, he was surrounded by Daemon's friends. Daemon then contacts one of his faithful companions, Lady Miseria. Or as others know her, the White Worm. The revenge had to be one that would strike at the heart of the new king. So, a plan was devised. Lady Miseria, although in recent decades had increased her power and influence in the kingdom, the Hightower mobilized and attacked her home. 
We can even see a scene in episode number 9, where her home is seen in flames. But Damon's friend survived this attack. This gave her more encouragement to help Damon. Damon even had friends within the Green Court itself. Unbeknownst to them, the High Tower was infiltrated by allies of the Rogue Prince as a whole. One afternoon, two men entered the castle. They knew where Queen Helena's room was. But the target was something worse. They were Helena's children. After these men asked Helena to choose which of her children she wanted the least, they ended up taking the life of the heir of Aegon. This infanticide is perhaps the most shocking and darkest element in the history of Game of Thrones. It is an event that takes away Helena's sanity, to the point that from that moment she was never the same again, and her mind got lost. It is a moment in which Alicent realizes that Rhaenyra's side are monsters, and that there will be no mercy. It is a horrible moment, which paves the way to other horrible events in this world. We don't know for sure how this event will be shown, but if we go by Martin, what we will see will be so shocking that it will make many cry. If we go by what Martin mentioned, this means that we might see the blood and cheese event at the end of the second episode. I think in the first episode, we will see how Rhaenyra goes all the way to Storm's End to try to find Lucerys and then attacks this place with fire from her dragon Cyrax, which is why you see ashes on her face in the trailer. Then Rhaenyra returns and tells Daemon to take revenge, and that's when we'll see what happened with blood and cheese. At least that's how it makes sense to me based on the trailer. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think what happens with blood and cheese will make people cry? And for more videos from the Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.